Hey y'all. Hey. Emma, <laughs> Emma and I are getting ready to mix up bulk spice mixes. Um, we buy our spices individually in bulk. So, you know, I have onion powder in a jar right here. Um, I have a lot of different things here we're gonna use, but I typically will buy a pound or so of spices because it is a lot less expensive per ounce when you buy them in bulk than when you buy the little jars at the grocery store. So um, that's typically what I try to do. Plus we use a lot of spices and seasonings. So, um, and we do always buy organic seasonings and spices because if they're not organic, they are irradiated and there's another chemical they use. Um, so they basically radiate them and gas them to inhibit, um, to of course kill off any kind of bugs that might be in it or inhibit um, fungal growth or um, to just preserve the coloring. But um, those doing those things actually are carcinogenic. Um, they say in the small increments they use the things and do the things it's not going to affect you but when you use a lot of spices all the time I don't know at what point you build up enough to be negative for your body. So just not something I want to mess around with and risk. So we have chosen for our family to buy only organic seasoning and spices. That being said we are going to mix up in bulk. We um, mix up our own taco mix and our own ranch mix. Um, we also make our own Cajun seasoning mix. Where'd the bottle go? Do we... Oh, it's right here. Um, I already have it made up, but I just want to show you. I just make a small amount because we don't use a ton of Cajun seasoning. Actually, Emma usually makes it. Um, and it's her own mix. I don't have the recipe written out on my blog or anything, but um, Emma makes it. I just put a cute little label. I got these labels last week I showed you on our bulk food haul that we got these a little marker and I have been going to town labeling things. I don't have the best handwriting but I still I like my cutie little labels. <laughs> so Emma and I have been working on converting our recipe into bulk and actually writing it down so that we remember when we do it and I wrote on here like the taco mix is one tablespoon of our taco seasoning per pound and that is per pound of meat or per pound of cooked beans. So if you're opening cans of beans and you open a couple of eight ounce cans, two eight ounce cans, you're going to um, use one tablespoon of taco mix in it, or we will. So that is what that is. And then our ranch mix we make up and we use um, two teaspoons for 16 ounces. We typically mix it in sour cream. We can also mix it in yogurt, um, however we want to do it. So we will know the instructions are written on the label so that we can remember how much we need to use. And then things like the Cajun seasoning are just obviously just going to be sprinkled on um, as a seasoning so we don't have a certain amount per anything because you don't want to put a <laughs> tablespoon on a pound of meat that would be hot. But anyway, we are going to get started. So what are you going to do first? You want to do ranch or taco? Taco. Okay. And I'm just gonna, we, I have ranch and taco seasoning mixes on my blog. I will link those below. I think that Emma has tweaked the recipe though. So what she's doing is not <laughs> the exact recipe that's on the blog, but the blog recipes are excellent too. So, I'm just right. so we're just going to make enough in theory, if our calculations are correct, we're making enough to put in to a quart jar. Okay, so far Emma's measured out our salt. We use pink Himalayan salt and we decided that we need a little bit bigger bowl by the time we get all of our ingredients in. We want to be able to fit them in the mason jar. So um, we have pink Himalayan salt, which I buy by the five pound bag. Um, the cheapest, the, this is the least expensive I found. It's and I ordered on Amazon. Um, it's less on Amazon than at the local Amish store. So I go ahead and order it off of there because it's less money. All right, we got all of our ingredients in the bowl. Um, hopefully they fit in the quart jar. It might be more than one quart jar, which is fine. We'll just add it to another if it is. And it smells like tacos in here now. <laughs> Kylie's sitting over there and she's like, that makes me want tacos. All right, so I'm gonna use my canning funnel and we're mixing it really good because obviously you want all of your ingredients mixed evenly so that you don't have 
you know, a area that has more of one than the other. So you're, you're you get consistency, <laughs> consistency in your, um, in your tacos when you make them. Mm. This bowl, I really wanted one of my glass measuring cups, but no. Wow, nobody knows where they are on my land top. Hang on. And you can also shake the jar up to um, make seasonings up there if there's any headspace. Hang on just a second. I'm going to out a ribbit. Shake that down. Okay. We are messy. Oh my goodness. Okay. There's a lot of salt on this part. Um. It'll fit. It'll fit. Oh, I told you. It just fits. Good job. All right. There is our taco mix. And that'll last us a good little while. So we got that ready to go. It'll be much easier. We have not made bulk seasonings up in a good, in a while. And so, um, every time we cook, when we're trying to like throw the ingredients together to cook. We're like, we just made this up in bulk again. It'll be so much easier, but now we're doing it because we just haven't done it. All right. We're going to get started on our ranch mix. Recipe She's got the recipe on the phone, so. Okay. Okay. All right. We put this recipe through a online recipe calculator like converter. So we tried to figure out how much was going to fit, how many servings were going to fit in a mason jar. So this is also a kind of a guessing game. Hopefully it'll be right. And if it's too much, we'll put it in another jar too. We'll just have extra. All right, we got our ranch mixed up. <laughs> We're a little choked up from all the spices in the air. I also filled this. I saved my old um, spice jars from when I do get some at the store. And I like these because they have bigger holes. We did have Cajun seasoning in here before. Now we have ranch in it. Um, so I saved these and this, this way, if I want to use ranch seasoning on something like, I think the kids like it on popcorn. Um, That's a great idea. idea. <laughs> She's excited. I just thought about like doing that and my sister-in-law makes that for them and they love it. So they can put it on popcorn. Um, we can also use it on chicken. We're going to do some chicken and we're going to season it with the ranch seasoning. I've made pot rice, like a Mississippi pot rice, and we can put this to season that. Um, I'm choked up from the seasoning. So that's just some ideas you can do um, if you wanted to do something with a little bit of a Mexican flavor. You could actually put your taco seasoning mix in to a shaker jar like that and use it like the same way. So anyway, so Emma and I, I mean, that wasn't, didn't take us very long. It was not much longer than if we were going to be making, you know, one meal's worth of seasoning. So we just took a little bit extra time, a few more minutes and made it in bulk. And now we have it in bulk for a good while and we don't have to worry about it. We can just pull that out. And I like to label everything really easily where you can really see what it is easily. So anyway, that is our jars of our yumminess and we appreciate you guys um hopefully you are inspired by this and maybe you haven't thought of this before it gives you some ideas of things that you could do to make your life a little more convenient and easier in the kitchen and if you're not already subscribed to our channel we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a video give us a thumbs up <laughs> so youtube will know that you're enjoying what you're seeing please comment below let us know if this is something you already do, what kind of mixes you make. Um, maybe we could try something different. <laughs> oh my goodness, this pepper. Hang on, let me get a second. I think I'm okay now. Anyway, um, we love hearing from you and we appreciate y'all. And we will catch you guys on the next video.